War Tycoon does have a lot of snipers in the game, and in reality, it is actually quite hard to pick out which sniper you would actually like to use, and there are actually a lot of surprising snipers on this list, which are better than you possibly think, and snipers that you guys have been missing out for quite a long time. In today's video, guys, I'll be helping you pick out your favorite sniper on which is also the best sniper in the game, on how to obtain them, all this stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna get into the statistics in this video, we'll also be going going through how usable they are in actual fights and how versatile they are. Anyway, let's just jump into the game right now. Alright, so here we are right into the game and the way I will be ranking these snipers in this video is kind of going to be by an order of top 10 and then we'll be moving our way down instead. So, the first sniper which I have for you guys is I believe this is the 10th the sniper which I believe there is 10 snipers in War Tycoon right now. The number 10 spot is actually taken by the Dragunov SVD and you might be wondering why this sniper is so absolutely terrific and I'll be explaining you guys why this sniper is so bad as you see the sniper does shoot pretty quickly however where the problems actually do start to occur it's when we start to be zooming in because as you guys can see just look how shaky this is I'm not even moving my mouse and the uh, zoom I absolutely hate it like it's actually very hard to tell uh, how to snipe with this sniper and that's mainly a thing that people hate about it its damage is also absolutely horrific and I'd rather say this sniper is just not worth for absolutely anything in this game but just look have a look at its stats right so I did take a few screenshots so I don't gotta go into the statistics but here is kind of a statistic of showing on how this sniper looks like honestly I really do not like it at all just the main problem which I also have with it is just look how high the recoil is. The V recoil is 30 and then the H recoil is 12 which is just it's just not good. Alright, so now jumping into the next sniper, which I'm going to be going through, uh, which is actually a little bit better, which is going to be the VCS uh, uh, Ventoras, I believe that's the name. And the most important thing about this sniper is how fast this sniper can actually shoot, which is one of the things that people enjoy about this sniper the most, is how fast it shoots. Let me just turn out the volume really quick so you guys can hear it better. And some people actually do seem to be using this sniper, kind of as an assault rifle in a way as well. And I'm going to be honest that is kind of weird however if we take a look at the damage of the this of of course uh, the sniper which I'm going through right now the Ventaurus the damage is around 28 which is actually really good the recoil on the sniper is also not too high and of course the fire rate is what people love to use at the most it is a semi-automatic and that's mainly the thing that people do like about it but in terms of sniping just look how shaky it is I really do not like to use it for sniping I actually in fact did not use this sniper for anything and I believe this should should be the number nine spot where you guys should just definitely pass out the sniper and do not use it at all. Anyway, moving to the next sniper which I have on this list, it is going to be the Remington MSR and this is where the sniping actually starts to get good in this game and this is where I actually start to recommend you guys uh, snipers. I really do like this sniper personally because the sound it does make once you guys do shoot the sniper does let you know that you already fired your shot and it is very much quality in terms of the sounds and I really do like this sniper for that. It is a bolt action sniper rifle and how fast uh, the, the shot of course uh, reaches the target is actually pretty quick so this is one of the snipers at the eight, number eight spot which i actually start to recommend for you guys it is actually quite rec recommended because of its stats let me just show you guys the stats of the remington msr here it is the damage of it is going to be around 50 the fire rate is not this good however the range is good the accuracy is 89 the recoil on h is of course quite low and on v is going to be a little bit higher however i do very much suggest this sniper because it's actually not as shaky as the previous snipers and it actually does have a normal scope and really that's my main recommendation I believe that this is probably one of the best free-to-play snipers for you guys however what you're about to see on this list next is going to be sh actually making a huge difference and so the next sniper which I have on the list is going to be the M200 intervention it is going to be a bolt action sniper rifle I really do like the sniper the sound of it is also great however uh, where it actually starts to get good is how I accurate the sniper actually is. We're not going to be looking at how much ammunition it has, but taking a look at how much uh, ammunition is just not the best thing to do. However, the damage of the sniper is really good because it's going to be 65. The accuracy is 91. The H recoil is 8 and the V recoil is 24. However, I do not really want to worry about this uh, recoil of the sniper because in reality, at the end of the day, it is kind of made for uh, sniping with the scope. And the scope on this, I believe it's actually a little bit better. It's a less 
less shaky than the previous sniper, just a slight bit. However, I believe this might be the best sniper as of this current moment, uh, once you guys do unlock yourself the plane uh, area. But, the next sniper which I'm about to show you, which is currently an available sniper, is going to be the M40 sniper, which right now, it is available inside of the base, which is actually very nice, because once you guys do unlock the second floor, you guys can already equip the sniper, and this is probably my most recommended sniper for uh, free-to-play players, which I'm gonna be quickly updating the M40, because for some reason I happened to take off the scope, which I do not know why I did take off the sniper scope. However, the M40 is my personal favorite, because I've been using it until I got myself the better sniper, so let me just show you guys how good this sniper actually is. I, Of course, the shape is not too high, which is absolutely great. It's actually quite accurate, just like the uh, previous sniper, which I have shown you guys. So let me show you the M40 right here. The damage of it is going to be 50, the fire is going to be 60, the accuracy is going to be a little bit lower, however, the recoil of this sniper is going to be a little bit uh, lower than the previous one, but the reason why I like this sniper the most is actually because of how fast it's going to be able to shoot. Like, that's the main thing I like about it, because you guys would be able to trade shots very quickly uh, with opponents who do have faster shooting snipers than you as a free-to-play player, that is also very important to have, because people like to spam stuff like the bird, which does shoot incredibly quickly and to be able to match with this, I believe the M40 is going to be my personal pick. Alright, so now jumping into the number five spot, where stuff starts to get a little bit controversial, I personally like to pick the Barrett as the number five spot, simply because of how fast it actually shoots, which I'll be moving into the problem of the Barrett very quickly, but as you guys can see, the Barrett does shoot incredibly fast, which is actually absolutely great. And it is very good for being able to quickly get some lucky headshots on your opponents. But mainly what this weapon is actually used for is for damaging your opponents very quickly in the body. Because as you guys can see, it does shoot very quickly. And now taking a quick look at the damage of the Bard, it does 78 damage, which is absolutely insane if I'm being completely honest with you. However, one very, very cool information which i like to point out is the Bard has recently been buffed. It is currently available for 200 Robux, of course, in this area. However, one thing that I lose of course love to use the Barret for is going to be the fact that you guys would be able to destroy the vehicles with this very quickly so let me actually show you guys all right so as I spawn myself a vehicle as you guys can see the Barret does very good damage to the vehicles overall and I really like to use it for of course vehicle distractions personally because of simply how much damage this actually does to the vehicles the reason why it's so good is because that it does have of course armor penetration and the Barret in real life actually isn't used for sniping but it's used for destroying hard targets like of course the vehicles or maybe strong walls and all the stuff. Now the main problem which I do have with the Bard is its recoil is really not the best. It is quite high once you guys shoot. Anyway, where stuff starts to get even more interesting is with the Springfield. So this is the number four spot. The reason why people do love using the Springfield a lot is because it has 100% accuracy as you guys can see on the screen right now. Let me show you guys the statistics of the Springfield really quick. It does 52 damage, however it's recoil is in fact going to be quite low, its accuracy is going to be 100% and the range is 8000 which is absolutely insane. This sniper is actually not really being used as much uh, for actual sniping with the scope because the scope of this, let's be honest, it is not really the best, it's very hard to actually aim your shots with the scope of the Springfield. However, what people like to use it for is the fact that it does shoot quite quickly, I believe a little bit faster than the car 98k, however what I love the most about the Springfield is simply the fact it is going to be uh, very good for close range and that's what mainly people actually be using for is close range headshots. I do not recommend going for body shots with the sniper simply because it's not going to do you the most damage. However, it is a one shot headshot and that's what people start to love about the Springfield and it's really down to preference what you prefer between the Springfield or the Kai 98k which by the way is next on this list and the reason why I rank it a little step fire it is pretty much just the same as the Springfield. It kind of acts the same really but what people really like it for is the fact that its scope is just slightly better. I don't know if this is actually considered a scope but I'm just gonna be calling it a scope for the sake of today's video. This kind of does exactly the same thing as of course the uh, Springfield. It works for close range sniping however it is also good for mediocre range although I do prefer actual sniper rifles for mediocre range but for now I will be ranking the Kar 98k as the third spot of the best sniper rifles in the game. 
Now moving into the number two spot of the second best sniper in this game, it is going to be a little bit of a controversial, uh, of course, uh, choice, but I am going to be picking the op sniper rifle simply because of how fast it shoots and it has instant trouble time, much like the uh, Springfield and the Car 98K, which I actually haven't mentioned. However, I believe that, of course, the op does have slightly better trouble time than even the Car 98K and the Springfield, and that's why I'm going to be picking it as a number one spot. However, However, what I also like about it is the fact that it does have its actual sniper scope. It's not really as shaky and it is absolutely perfect for long range sniping. But it also has very good accuracy in the long range, which I'm going to be showing you guys right here. The accuracy of this is going to be 92. Its recoil is also going to be quite low. However, it could always be better. But what I like about this sniper, it just like the Springfield and the Car 98K, that it is absolutely perfect for close range uh, fights uh, because, of course, it is going to be absolutely accurate in the close range uh, fight, so as I of course said. And by the way, the reason why I'm ranking it a little bit higher is only because it does have a sniper scope, and really this is probably the most rare sniper to get in the game because you guys have to get really lucky in actually unlocking the spins. I, un I already unlocked it in a spin recently, which I will probably be making a video on this, but at the moment I not really feel like making a video on this kind of topic. But yeah, this is my number one two spot. But yeah, this is my number two spot, and again, this is just my personal preference. It is down to you guys to decide which one is, of course, your number two sniper. However, the number one sniper on this list, which I'm gonna be having, is going to be the Explosive Sniper Rifle. Maze, most people in the game do use this sniper for, of course, sniping. However, it does have one of the most underrated things in this game. It's currently going to be available at 2,000 Robux, which is kind of a very high amount. However, what people actually love to use it for is first of all it does really good area damage second of all it does have a smoke which it creates so it's also harder to see once you're fighting an explosive sniper user and everything which i think it's really good for is of course mainly its damage however what people actually do underestimate about the explosive sniper rifle is the fact that this sniper is actually quite accurate and once you guys do unlock yourself the current scope which i'm using which is the best scope in the game in terms of accuracy it raises the accuracy to 94 percent it actually allows the Exorcist Sniper to be somewhat good use uh, in terms of actually being able to land headshots. However, I do not recommend this sniper for being able to land headshots simply because of the fact that it does create a smoke and it is very hard once you guys do miss a shot. However, it does one shot body shot to people who are using the Vietnam armor and it two shots body shots people who are using, of course, the, um, the 2x armor which is currently located in the base. And it's also located down in the bunker. However, probably the most underrated thing about the Exorcist Sniper, it is great for first off for taking out helicopters, of course the, in the anti-air, which is one of the things I, I like to personally use it for. However, the number one thing which I like to use it for is actually vehicle destruction. I guess Lavad is going to be our test subject for this video. As you guys can see, th this sniper does do insanely good damage and the Lavad does have around 800 health, I believe, and the Exorcist Sniper does do around 100 damage per shot. However, I believe it's going to be high to ground vehicles but also the helicopters and the helicopters are absolute victims of the sniper if they are kind of low uh, of course uh, once they are not flying too high they're actually quite easy to hit and it does do very good damage and I believe the exorcist sniper to be even better than the stinger for taking out opponents and helicopters and stuff however the thing I really like the exorcist sniper for in helicopter taking out is that you guys will be able to very easily shoot yourself somebody who is of course uh, piloting the helicopter and the reason why I say this is because this is an explosive sniper and you guys do not have to be fully accurate with your shots to be able to do damage to the pilot. Anyway this is going to be my number 10 list of the best snipers in War Tycoon. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys did agree on these statistics which I have provided for you but also on my opinions on which sniper is the best in the game. I would have almost placed the op as the number one section however I did think the explosive sniper is just super more versatile than the op but really the biggest surprises on this list for people is the car 98k in the Springfield. They are really useful if I'm gonna be completely honest and I really do suggest you guys to start using them in close range fights and it's probably gonna be one of the best decisions of your life. I also have been using just the uh, Discord screenshots just to provide you guys the information quicker than just walking all the way back into my base back and forward because I just found it a little bit easier to just show you guys screenshots uh, from my Discord. Anyway that is all I have for you guys in today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below which of video you guys would like to see next. 
of course, in the top 10 section of vehicles or even uh, maybe assault rifles, maybe shotguns. Tell me whatever you want to see. Anyway, make sure to smash the like button and yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.